news, events, sports. Same time, same place, right in the heart of Isla Vista. UCSB TV is serving UC Santa Barbara and the surrounding community with real journalism. Hello and welcome back to UCSB TV, the university's only broadcast news station bringing you all of the news, sports and events you need to know in and around Isla Vista. I'm Francesca D'Agata. And I am Zuri Wilson. Here are the top stories for tonight. President Biden and President-elect Donald Trump met in the White House on Wednesday morning to discuss the peaceful transfer of power. Biden congratulated Trump and said that he was looking forward to the smooth transition between the two men before he welcomes Trump back to the White House. On Tuesday night, Donald Trump announced that Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy would lead a new office government efficiency. The new department is not a federal agency, but it will provide guidance outside of the government. Musk said that transparency with the public is a key component of the department. The billionaire aims to incorporate his app X into his new position. He plans to post information like public leaderboards to the app to track the spending of tax dollars. In world news, more than 35 people were killed and 43 were injured in a car attack in southern China on Monday. Police say a man crashed his car into a sports stadium and ran down groups of people exercising on the sports track. Reports are describing this as the deadliest known act of public violence in the country for decades. Police say the 62-year-old driver acted out of unhappiness as a result of his divorce settlement. The accused, identified as Mr. Fan, was arrested as he attempted to flee the sports center. According to police, he is now in a coma as a result of self-inflicted wounds. In local news, reporter Arlie Lara attended the third annual Santa Barbara Half Marathon. To you, Arlie. It's a sunny day here in downtown Santa Barbara with weather for the third annual Half Marathon and 5K race presented by Hula and BCNA. Runners are ready to take the big challenge along the Rigo Boulevard and the Big Street. The half marathon 5K race has developed through Run Locals, an organization founded in 2012 in San Francisco Bay Area. Run Locals' mission is to inspire movement in communities throughout California. Many other events have been hosted in multiple cities, such as San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, and now here in Santa Barbara. This year's 2024 Santa Barbara Half Marathon, sponsored by UCLA Health, has grown from 2,000 participants in 2021 to 6,000 in 2024. In an interview with Run Locals Marketing Coordinator, Michaela O'Connell, she explains how her journey began back when she was a gaucho. She also mentions how Run Locals' mission has been able to bring communities together after COVID shutdown. Our mission is definitely like just building community. I think, you know, everyone in COVID kind of went into hiding. And so I think, especially with events, like, it's really to just kind of build everyone back together and, you know, find things in common. And luckily, a lot of people seem to enjoy running. So this is great for us. But I think the overarching mission is just like building community and finding people, you know, to kind of bond over experiences with. Overall, their mission aims to support community members leading to the race through local organizations and clubs. Run Local has partnered up with UCSB Recreation Center of UCSB to prepare all members for this race. There's a lot of run groups that I've learned that are in Santa Barbara and like I, with my background in running, have, you know, I know what a team environment does for people. So I think the growth of run clubs has really boosted and so we've worked a lot with them. Um, We've been able to get in touch with like UCSB Athletics, Rexen, alumni, to just kind of make sure that we're not imposing in the community, that, but that we're part of it and we're an event that like restaurants, vendors, and that people like look forward to. Additionally, Michaela mentions that every year the event has become a success with the addition of many resources such as student discounts. A new plan developed this year. This plan aims to help students participate in the race by offering a 20% off in their purchase. She claims this and many other resources hope to reach more to the community and motivate to join this fun event. She ambitions every year this event growing bigger and successful. Being a UCSB grad, like wanting to see more of like the gauchos down here. Um, and so I launched a student program to kind of help drive that registration and hopefully get them excited about this event and hope that they would, you know, want to join. And I think a big thing like the program is starting as just like a discount. I would love to see that grow already in conversations with like other organizations of UCSB, like the Rexen, alumni, athletics, even like frat sororities, like trying to get all aspects involved. I would love to see more gauchos down here.
This family event is hosted every year in November and is open to all community members in Santa Barbara and surrounding areas. Tickets can be found every year at Santa Barbara Half Marathon with additional resources such as student discounts and their website. Prepare for next year's event with your family and friends. Reporting for UCSB TV, this is Arlie Lada. Thank you, Arlie. In the world of sports, Annabelle and Clarilyn attended the men's playoff soccer game against UC Irvine. Let's see how it went. It's good to be back here tonight at Harder Stadium for this very big soccer game. This game is a high state game for the Gauchos as they face off the UC Irvine and Eaters in this Big West Conference semifinal matchup for the championships. The Gauchos will have a home advantage here tonight as they aim for a spot as in the championship finals. The Gauchos came into the semifinals as the number two seed after a solid regular season. They finished just behind UC Riverside in the Big West Conference standings. To close out the regular season, UCSB faced a tough loss 0-2 against UC Riverside. This team has shown both resilience throughout the season with strong performances, including recent victories over California State University Northridge and UC Irvine. There are two key players to watch tonight, Nicholas Williamson and Lexis Ledeau. Williamson, known for his powerful and precise set-piece play that correlates to how he's been scoring from multiple ranges and which challenges opposing teams' defense with his accuracy and vision of the entire field. Ladeau, on the other hand, has delivered in-clutch moments this season. He also brings his energy and agility to the UCSB's offense line, constantly breaking down defenses and creating new opportunities in crucial moments. With everything on the line, this game is shaping up to be a true test of UCSB's defensive stability and offensive creativity. Let's see if Williamson, Ledoux, and the rest of the team capitalize on their skills and bring full intensity to secure a win tonight. With a championship title in reach, UCSB's players, coaching staff, and even the fans are counting on the team's depth, discipline, and standout performances from everyone. The pressure will be very high, but UCSB's experience and strategic adaptability gives them a strong edge as they aim to advance for a spot in the championship final. Roll Chos! Welcome to the post-game show. The UC Santa Barbara Gauchos have clinched their spot in the Big West Conference Championship Finals. This historical victory over the UC Irvine Anteaters marks a turning point in their season. For over 15 years, the Anteaters have dominated the Gauchos in the Big West Conference, but the Gauchos proved that they are determined to win, with crucial goals from number 19, Andrew Klemenensky, and number 24, Isaiah Barkley. This occurred a 2-1 to -one victory. Head coach Tim shared his insights on the team's strategy to win this match and what it meant to be in the championship's final. Our preparation will start Sunday at 3 o'clock once we know who we're playing. All the teams from now on in are, are going to be tough games and we have to find a way to win and you can find a way not to lose <laughs> on Friday and you might say, well, how does that happen? Well, if you go to penalty kicks, the game goes down as a tie. We're right on the edge of, of being in a position where win or lose or tie, maybe we have a chance to get in either way. We asked goal scorers of the game, Andrew and Isaiah, how they meant to prepare for the game. Just checking in on the mentality side of Division One sports. I tried not to think about it. Not to get too stressed out, too nervous. Just try to go into the game thinking it's just another game. we have played hundreds, if not thousands before. I would say the opposite. I didn't think about it a lot. I, I visualize, like, especially for this team, like how they're going to press or how they're going to step on me as a center back. So I just, like, in my head, have an idea of where I'm going to go. One's a defender, one's a forward. <laughs> the Gauchos and their undefeated streak at Harder Stadium continues. No matter what the outcome is in the final match, UCSB men's soccer has secured a top seed in the tournament. The Gauchos will now face UC Davis at Harder Stadium this Friday for the championship finals. A big victory will not only secure a Big West Conference title, but also a position for them to compete in the NCAA tournament. Also, we wanted to congratulate women's soccer on winning the Big West Championships finals in Hawaii. We wish them the best of luck in their NCAA match against Stanford. Keep fighting, Gauchos. That's all from sports this week. Back to Francesca and Zuri. Wow, what a gripping game. I know. I was on the edge of my seat, but I'm glad that the Gauchos pulled it off in the end. In other news, Schauser Books celebrated their 50th anniversary last week. Amanda Maroquin has the story. Santa Barbara celebrated a very special birthday last week. Chaucer's Books opened up 50 years ago. Dozens of book lovers, families, kids, and couples gathered at Chaucer's on November 1st for a birthday party to celebrate the literary hotspot on Upper State Street. It's no surprise that Chaucer's feels like a fairy tale the second that you walk in. Jen Limberger and Greg Fate met while working at Chaucer's in 2006 and fell in love. I worked my way through college in part by working here. Um, 
after I graduated from UCSB, actually, I um, wanted to stick around. There was a book buyer here who was really instrumental in kind of showing me that uh, this could be an actual career and that there was a real value to what an independent bookstore does. And then I would add part of it is too is um, a big difference of a, a brick and mortar store versus anything online is also the community relationships. Mm -hmm. um, so we're able to do book fairs for elementary schools, we're able to support teachers, we're able to support professors at UCSB and that's just not something that an online outlet or a, a big bookstore can do in the same way um, mm -hmm. that we can. Yeah. Whether you're a book lover or just a believer in happy endings, Chaucer's has a story for everyone. For UCSB TV, I'm Amanda Morrow Quinn. Well, that is all we have for you tonight. We will see you next week with all the sports, news, and events here in the heart of Isla Vista. I'm Francesca Daggett. And I'm Zuri Wilson. This is UCSB TV.